Hey, everybody. This is Sheets, and I have Michael Brave Jayhawk Jensen here with me once again. We're going to review what happened in week five of Survivor, and we're going to go on to week six. And once again, because it's Wednesday and because I am home, uh, we have the uh, benefit of the lawnmowers going on in the backyard, which is uh, becoming a weekly thing. Um, so I guess... Why don't you start again uh, with 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 what pools you're in, what you did yep. last week, and what the results were, and where we where we stand? Okay, so I only did two pools this year. I I, I sat out circa, which is unfortunate, but uh, so it is. Um, the first pool, standard single picks that extends into the playoffs. Uh, we'll get on uh, to the quirk uh, a little bit later in the year on that if it becomes applicable. Uh, it started with about 1,100 players' entries, and we are down to 17. Let's I go. Have, Let's I have, go. <laughs> I have one entry left of the 17. Uh, two of my friends are still in as well that I recruited into the pool a few, uh, several years back. So that, that's, that's pretty exciting. Uh, I took Jacksonville in this one, and uh, that was a very magical day. It, was, it, it, it kind of didn't really see it coming. I, I mean, never in doubt. Was, never in doubt. Never in doubt. I, I actually did watch the full slate uh, in the morning, and uh, you know Jack's about to sweat it out a little bit, and then you got the miracle double knockout in the afternoon. I I, I was at home doing some uh, accounting, and I I, have, I still don't understand how the 49ers lost. I, I don't have Sunday ticket this year, but I went to go pick up dinner, and they were up by ten with the ball driving, and yep. they didn't score the rest of the game. So yep. I don't know what happened there, but that was fantastic, and so was yep. the Giants upset. Uh, in the other pool, started about 35,000 entries, uh, m- you know, much smaller buying, but a ton of people. We're down to 702. I have three entries left. Straight, sing- two- straight, straight singles? That, uh, that, that, uh, it's been singles up until this point. We have doubles uh, in six, 12, Ooh. 13. Ooh, okay. So something, something this, 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 is one of my fa- this is one of my favorite. I, okay. I love getting to this point, this, this stage. If I get knocked out, who cares? Um, it's not as exciting as it normally would be. I, I feel I'm not going to go anything too crazy, but uh, just have yeah, the opportunity to hit like a, you know, four team parlay to, yeah. you know, the bloodbath of field is always, you know, an, an exciting, uh, you know, possibility. Uh, three entries left. I went to Jacksonville and, and one Denver in that. And really this, this is a real wild season. I mean, it, it broke down. Th- this is the year, you know, I wish I just did unlimited entries because I, I i more or less would have done you know the same thing that i that i've done across whether i did you know 50 entries or five thousand. uh the i mean the chalk the chalk has just lost every single week every week. uh you know you know really just really <laughs> incredible and i and i faded it every single week and obviously i've, I've lost plenty of games but they're were, they're were never on those the, those uh those chalk teams so you know re- really incredible to be down to you know one-ish two percent of the field through only five weeks it, it, it's got that uh you know thanksgiving the christmas kind of feel to it but we're still in october and the leaves haven't fall they're starting to fall it's uh, very crazy to to be this deep this early all right let me share what we're, we're, we're what i'm in so so let's talk about the bad news first, but it was actually sort of interesting to go over is the Circa Millions mini pool that I was in that uh, started with, it was the same rule of Circa at 335 people and it was down to 13 going into last week. And this was the grid going into last week of who everybody had taken. And I had wrote down on the right side, like who the possible teams, unless they wanted to drop to Chicago or whatever, like who they were going to play and who they yeah. could play. And like all these guys that took the 49ers, some of them couldn't even take Seattle. So uh, I, I put them at the KC, but I meant KC, Chicago, or anybody else. And then these guys could have played Seattle or KC. The guys that could not play the Niners, um, I, the, the, excuse me, the guys who had the Niners available, I gave them the possibility of playing the Niners. You know, I didn't know whether they were all going to play the Niners or not. So I just put put in here and I went back and forth. I was between Seattle and San Francisco all week. Okay. As far as this was 13 people left, I didn't need to do anything stupid. And I was trying to analyze like what people were going to do. Like would the, all five of these people play San Francisco Uh, of these people that could take Seattle 
would they all take Seattle or would they go with Kansas City or Chicago or somebody like that? So I went back and forth and back and forth. And at the last minute, I said, you know what? I'm not going to, I'm not playing San Francisco because I think all five of these other guys are playing San Francisco. I think the Seattle thing is going to be broken up between KC, Chicago, KC, Chicago, whatever. So I went and took Seattle. Now I would have taken, I would have taken Seattle too between those right. choices for sure. Now, as it turns out, they both lost. But the, the interesting thing about it was that only one person took San Francisco <laughs> and five took Seattle. <laughs> How funny. Uh, that's, fr- uh, that's so frustrating when yeah. you win. So, 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 so everybody, everybody got punished. I think that pool, actually a couple of people took one guy dropped to Chicago and other played like Washington. So there were like two or three people left in that. So that was that the double pick pools. I told you we were going to chalk out in that one. We did, we did play Seattle, San Francisco together. And the good thing is, is that they both lost. So there was no problems. So the good news, the, are, the, pro- the problem would have been is if Washington or Chicago lost, then right. the, the that, last thing that I had mentioned, uh, right. the, the, the Jacksonville, Denver, but yeah. so, so the good news is, okay, here are the single pick pools. So the one that's like, it's got ways to go, but the DraftKings $1.8 million for first pool is down to 300. Okay. And, and we have two, we, we got two through and one of them we got through with, with, with a, um, with a, a sneaky Atlanta that got through on Thursday, um, and the that was other, for, that, that was fortunate. Yeah, <laughs> right. And the other one was just as fortunate. We got. I went back and forth between actually Jacksonville and Denver on that on this other pick, and I actually went with Jacksonville at the end of the day, um, as far as this one goes. So I have two entries left in that, and the and if you want, we'll look at the entries in a minute. We'll get back to it. So two entries left in that. And then in my other single pick pool, which, well, it's technically not a single pick pool. It's it's It goes to doubles if there are people left, a lot of people left at the end, but that is not the case. Because um, there are now 73 people left from 4,614. And we got two through. We played uh, Denver and Jacksonville on those two, okay? Like you did. So So we got two left there. We got two left with the, with with the DraftKings. We're in basically pure single pick pools, and as are I guess. Well, you're not exactly single pick because you have doubles. You have the, you have doubles in six, which is going to be fun to talk about. And you mm-hmm. got playoffs in the other one, so it's cool. We have different different things to talk about here. So let's pull up um, Survivor Grid and see what we have. And I'm just gonna I'm sorting everything by. Well, let's sort it by EV first, but you know, let's do the same thing that we did before. Let's let's sort by just winning chances, I guess. And and I'll let you start with just like just teams to KO and to knock out yeah. of consideration. Okay, so you know, as in similar weeks, we're going to knock out you know the teams that you'd be out of your mind picking now. Um, I mean, really, you know, San Francisco, uh, the obvious one that pops out, um, and uh, Buffalo. You know, just teams that, yeah, they're, you know, if, if you're going to drop to something crazy, you're, you're better off dropping to one of the other three-point favorites than a team that has very, very valuable games uh, late season as Buffalo and San Francisco have. Then I guess, uh, you know, since Cincinnati's one, you know, that you're also just going to throw out, you know, you know, when you have a group of like five, you know, Again, I'm not advocating that you drop to these three-point favorites. I, I, I'm not even going to do it in anything. But you know, you you, you got to pick the you you have to you have to leave the stronger teams for later, and then just pick the you know the weaker teams. And if anything, you know, people aren't going to take these you know weaker teams, even though they have the same chance to win as these you know so-called stronger teams. Uh, same same thing with Detroit. Um, but you know, we're, there's really not much reason to drop. You know, even this low anyway and i guess uh uh tampa tampa bay as well well um okay so let's 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 talk about tampa first only because um the reason why they're showing up as 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 a possible uh just as far as ev goes is is the saints i think announced that they're going to be starting a rookie quarterback so so oh okay yeah so so that's why this spread went up to tampa minus three and a half um uh so it's it's a very very strong EV play because no one's going to play him, um, partially because people have some people played him before, um, and they're definitely not the best option. But you know, uh, I I just 
they, they as you mentioned, they they have spots that you can play them in the future anyway. Um, yeah, and, and and then when it comes down to it, you know, all you know, very close in win percentage. I would rather just take the Chargers. They're going to be microscopically picked, and yeah. they have. Well, you got to be careful with the Chargers. I, I have a note about this for later, but when you start, you know, I was, I'll just say it now. When you're looking at deciding between, you know, teams, look at the back end of the season and then look at what the team's playoff chances are. And if they have good looking games at the end of the season and they have reasonable playoff uh, uh, chances, then that's the team you should probably not pick now and, and save for later when deciding between two teams. And the Chargers actually fit that both those categories. They have a very nice close and hosting Tampa Bay, Denver, at New England, at Las Vegas, and I use unpredictable.com, their playoff chances are 70%. So, you know, and, and t- but Tampa Bay has an even stronger close. They play, you know, they host Carolina and Vegas toward the end of the season. Uh, it, but I would never want to play Tampa Bay in this spot because everyone's going to know when it's announced this early that yeah. they're going new, New Orleans is going new quarterback. And I don't like that for two reasons. The, the first one is a lot of people are going to jump on it, you know, more than it, you know, the, the, the predictions might indicate. And second, I kind of treat these quarterback situations like week, like the week one spreads. The, the one fishy thing about me is if the spreads are ever going to be wrong, it's, it's week one. Cause we just don't know for sure yet until these teams have played an actual real game. This quarterback, he could, he, he's not, but he could be Tom Brady and, you know, the Saints are at home. You know, if the guy ends up being really good, you know, it's possibly a game that, you know, if, if you had known that information, the Saints might have been favored by six, you know, or, 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 or three, and you never would have even considered it. So I, I would lay off because I think they're just going to be uh, disproportionately picked anyway. And you run the risk of, you know, the quarterback being a lot better than what the odds would indicate. But also, you know, he could just be horrible and the spread should have been 10. So. Just, it goes to, both ways. Just, just to satisfy my my OCD here, so we can get all these reds in. Let's talk about Pittsburgh just for a second because they're within this 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 block here. Um, uh, they do have a very very nice spot in Week Eight, um, and and Week Eight is a week which is which which I don't know. It could be you you could you could really want to use them actually in case you want to save KC or Detroit for later. So. Uh, I think that Pittsburgh, I would, uh, I would get rid of as well. Um, you bring up a really good point, though. When uh, when you're deciding on these teams, look out to see if they have any other really good games, and d- d- you know, decide for yourself: is this a game that is that a team you'd want to fade that week right. or save? And you know, as Eric indicated, if 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 you can drop to the, well, drop to them, I mean, they're they're going to be a you know almost a touchdown favorite that week. They're actually like the you know the third best team to have. They will end up being pretty chalky, but yeah. but I would rather take Pittsburgh than Kansas City that week, even yeah. if they're chalky, because I, I I'm not using Kansas City till minimum week ten. I you know probably actually no, I'm not using them till twelve. I I, I don't I, I'll eat the chalk on Pittsburgh. So, but also look at the teams looking at week eight. Look at the other teams in uh, at the top of uh, that column. Detroit, a, a team that has several spots in the middle of the season. Uh, San Francisco, uh, Bal- uh, Baltimore has a is a great spot in nine, and then and then in f- uh, fifteen uh, on out. Uh, Houston's a team that most people, two thirds of people at least, don't even have. So you you want to have some options. Uh, so if if you want to use Pittsburgh or have an option of using Pittsburgh in eight, you know, d- obviously don't use them even in, in a double picks format. But I, I, I feel that you, it's very important that you look at what the, ru- the rules of your pool are going to indicate what, you know, the quote, best play is going to be. Like if you have doubles in eight, I would, I, I would want to, I personally want to fade Pittsburgh in eight if you were to have doubles in eight. And if that's the case, then you can maybe use them now because you're not going to use them in eight. All right, so let's get to the to, to the top teams here, um, and let's start with with Philly and Baltimore. Uh, we're going to get back to Houston in a minute because yeah. because Philly and Baltimore are different to me 
than Houston because as you um as you just mentioned, you know, uh, Houston has been used, okay, uh, by an average of about 50% of, of, of remaining pools. Um, I mean, I, I know this because I'm in two pools that started with a gazillion people, you know, so those are pretty st – still, the, the, the ownership projections are, are – or at least the availability uh, projections are pretty, pretty solid across all slates. Um, so they're scarce where Philly and Baltimore are literally 100% available. OK, um, because the only people that have ever taken Baltimore have lost with them <laughs> it's like the, uh, mm -hmm. against the, what was it, the Raiders somehow. Right. Um, so so Philly and Baltimore, to me, it's actually a very bizarre state of affairs when I look at this, these popularities, because I, I, I couldn't I wouldn't have guessed that Philly would be that much more owned than Baltimore. OK, like I know that Philly should be more owned than Baltimore. But thirty seven percent compared to four. Yeah, no way. Yeah, doesn't I, I, make any sense yeah, to me. Yeah. Um, now you could say that oh nobody wants to take Baltimore because they're going to same for Denver. But hell, look, Philly's the same thing. You know, what I mean, like Philly's got like incredible spots. Not, I mean, the, not the least of which being fourteen, which is a freaking super smash. Like if you could, if really thirty seven percent of the people are going to be playing Philly this week. I mean, you know, anyway. So so between. Philly and Baltimore, I am inclined to just play neither. I mean, honestly, like I, I, I'm just inclined to fade them both. Um, Philly, you could use in 11 or you could even fade in 11 as well. Like oh, if there's really, gonna, let's say it gets even 25, 30% of the people get Philly, they burn them here. And then you know, 11 is certainly no bargain. Okay. God for, by the way, for in week 11, by the way, but the end of the day, Philly might be pick them against Washington by the time Washington gets done. Oh, my God. It, yeah, yeah. yeah. You got to be really careful about these spreads yeah. because they're yeah. definitely uh, – go to betting market numbers yeah. when you're when you're looking at some of these because yeah. the Miami one's still off too. Yeah. Um. So, I, for me, I'm, I'm inclined to fade them both uh, and save them both. Ba Baltimore in – the thing about Baltimore in nine, which is going to be annoying – well, it's annoying that if no one really picks them this week for real, then they're going to get like unloaded on in nine. Um, so that is actually something to consider. Um, I don't think that's a. I don't think that's that bad though. I, and, and I'm making an, an exception here, but I, I've said in prior weeks that in some weeks you just have to eat the chalk. And if you look at week nine, it, it, look at the. Let's assume that these spreads are all accurate. This makes it easier. It's either Baltimore, or Cincinnati, because you're not playing Kansas it, City. Correct. Correct. So if you're when you when you rule out Kansas City, you're forcing yourself to drop further. And you know, Buffalo is a team that you might have already used or also a team that you might want to like, yeah. you know, if you're pulling 10 people left, you don't need to consider Buffalo right. you know, for the end of the season. You're, it's probably going to end. But if you're in a pool with hundreds of people left you know, that's sort of with massive amounts of people. You know, Buffalo is a team that you wouldn't want to use. And then Philadelphia, well, okay, you're not going to use them. And Seattle, most people have used them. All of a sudden, you're down to the three point favorites. You know, Tennessee, New Orleans, and Minnesota. So you're 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 forced. You're going to be forced drop down to a three unless you eat the chalk. And as long as you know, they're a, it's still going to be a fine EV play because it's not like Baltimore is going to be a six point favorite. They might be an eleven point favorite. Yeah, they might be a twelve point favorite, and and, and when it gets to those uh, win percentage numbers, when they get that high, it doesn't matter that they're forty percent picked. Uh, yeah, the EVs, the, the, the EVs, so the EVs, the EV is still going to be very high, and yeah. that is going to be Baltimore's best spot the rest yeah. of the season. And if you're not playing for the end of the season, because like my pool has seventeen people left, I, I'm not thinking weeks seventeen and eighteen. I mean, even 15, 16, there's a chance it end, there's a chance it ends before that. Well, the next time you would use Baltimore conceivably would be week 15. So if you're not even probably going to get to that week, then I, I think it's okay to use them when they're an extremely high uh, uh, favorite and you're not being forced dropped to like a three point favorite and you're saving Kansas City and, uh, and Cincinnati in the process. So, well, I guess in that case, Cincinnati might not be as valuable because they have end of the year plays. Right. So, uh, so now, and I'll, I'll talk about Houston, and then you can deal with both with all three of these at the same time. So, with Houston, I, I have to say that this is a speech that I, I usually we usually never give at week six, but 
here we are. And and remember, your picks are going to depend on who you have available. <laughs> These are things that we don't talk about usually to week thirteen, you know. But but now in week six, it's like everybody's out pretty much. Yeah. So, so so like Houston objectively is probably the best play because. You know they're they're the ones of all these three teams that have these top teams at least that have been used. Um, so if you have them available, yeah, I, you can make an excuse to use them. I'm sort of inclined to fade that too, um, because I think that if people do have Houston available, then they are going to use them, and then if you could somehow get to week 12 or something. Yeah, exactly. Then you can have like a zero owned Houston, you know? So, uh, and this is going to probably give away my, my top plays, but I'm, I'm sort of inclined to just fade all three of these top. Yeah. Well, okay. We're, we're, again, we have the same exact favorite picks. Now I'm going to do some okay. different stuff because uh, of, of the structure of my pools. Well, but we'll get into we, the double. We'll get into the doubles yeah. in a second. Yeah, but go ahead. But we, 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 we do have the, the two favorite teams, the, yeah. the, 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 the two unmentioned ones. Um, so it, 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 you know, you, you gave me a good segue. This is definitely the stage of the tournament where you need to really look closely at what your opponents have left. If you don't have a lot of people left, I have 17 people left in one. I have three, uh, 702 another. So I'm not, I'm lo- not looking at the 702 one, but with 17 people left, very important to look at what people have left. And this is what we got left. Six people have Houston available. Somebody has two entries, and they have Houston available in, bo- in both of them. Now, if I was that person, I would definitely be taking Houston with one of my picks, and, and I would be I'd be very surprised yeah. if they didn't. Uh, Sixteen people have Philadelphia left out of seventeen. The one person that has used Philadelphia is the person that has two Houston. So I would assume that they'll use Houston on the entry that they've already used Philly. Everybody has Baltimore left. Everybody has Atlanta left. Everybody has Green Bay left. Very exciting week. You, you know, I, I would, I, I am hoping, no, I don't have Houston available. Um, now, if I had Houston available, I would, I would definitely take Houston knowing that one person, you know, has, has, has both of them because they're not going to use them. But it would be a little annoying if everybody took Houston and then you took them. So, but luckily, I'm not in that situation. I got to decide on what I feel everybody else is going to pick. And right before the call started, I was I was looking up and counting, you know, how many people have taken San Francisco. And 10 people have taken San Francisco so far. And the reason that's meaningful, not only is San Francisco a very valuable team, but more importantly, they were the biggest, the highest picked team in week four. They were 30% picked that week. I think it's the only week where the, the, you know, the chalk team won. And the reason that is meaning to me is 10 of the 17 people left. Now, a lot of these people have multiple entries. So they have, a, you know, I'm not saying that was a, a, a bad pick, but I'm just, you know, it, it's an indicator to me that they might just, you know, follow that path and take the highest favorite again. If they, if they did it in week four, just two weeks ago, now two weeks later with, only 17 people left if they don't have Houston available and they're just looking at, you know, highest win percentage. Well, Philadelphia is first, then Houston, then Baltimore. And when you only have seven, and if they make one more, you know, look ahead, just one look ahead, Baltimore has a much better game sooner than Philadelphia does. So I, I, I feel very strongly that a lot of people are going to take Philadelphia in, in, in my pool. 16 of the 17 have them available. So I think a lot of people are going to take Philadelphia. So I'm definitely not taking Philadelphia. I can't take Houston. So my decision is between the other three teams. And it's, it's not going to be an easy decision because, you know, Baltimore would be nice to pick. They're the next highest favorite, but it'd be really nice to have them in nine. And then deciding between Atlanta and Green Bay would be pretty tough. I I feel even though these percentages say 19% and 5%, I I, I think there's a chance that. I don't don't, don't believe that. I don't believe that either. You know, I I think. I I, I, I think maybe there's a chance only one person takes uh, Green Bay or Atlanta with 17 people left because 
if, if, if people are trying, if they have that survive mentality, I'm going to take the biggest favorite. Oh, I can't take Houston. So I would have to drop down to Baltimore, but, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to use them. They're, they're, they're the best pick at nine. So then I'd have to drop all the way to Atlanta. And uh, do I really want to do that? So I, I think a lot of people are going to be taking Philadelphia in this, in this specific pool, but I, I think they're going to be extremely highly picked across all pools with, you know, using that similar mentality, even whether there's 300 left or, or 10 left, the next game that you really would want to use them is 11 then 14. And uh, even I'm thinking, man, I, I'm only going to play this thing to like 14 or 15, you know, I, I'm going to, I'm just not going to assume it's going to, it's going the distance. There's just too few people left. I'm going to still play aggressively like by, you know, not taking Philadelphia this week, but you know, I'm not going to do anything crazy either. Um, yeah. All right. So, so, uh, so let's, let's, let's wrap up the single pick stuff and then we'll talk about your doubles again. Yeah. Um, do you have any, any, any preference between Atlanta and Green Bay? I mean, I mean, I, I, I personally, I'm, I'm just going to split them up, you know, whatever, but, but I mean, if I, if I'm only, I mean, this, this is going to be my decision. I, I, I might, I, I personally, I might randomize because then I can't get mad at myself yeah, for, right, exactly. for, because I, I, I don't really think it matters. Like Atlanta, if I knew this thing was going to week 18, I would rather have Atlanta. Um, they have they have the Giants in 16 and Carolina in 18. And guys, and this does matter. This this you know, this, yeah. this does this does play into it. Yeah, everybody has Atlanta left, but when you get down to the final two or three people, if the other person used that team on one on one of these other random weeks and you didn't, then you have you you, you could have a huge advantage. I mean, Atlanta, Atlanta could be the highest favorited team in week 18. Easy. Easy. I mean, right now they, they, I think they are the highest favorited team or as, yeah, as of right now, they are the highest favorite. They could be, they could be 14 point favorites in week 18. uh, If if they have to win that game and the drop off could be 14 to six. And again, it's not like you're saving them. It's just, you're, you're deciding between two teams that are close and I would rather have Atlanta than green Bay. But since I'm not necessarily playing for the distance in this pool, man, the win percentages are almost the same too. I'm I'm either going to randomize it or I'm going to pick the team that I'd be the least mad if I lost with them. I know that sounds stupid, but I, I've done that before. Um, I, I think I think it's super close. If if, the, if we know the pool ends in week 14 or 15. I, I I just well and, and and ignoring the pick percentages because I I just have a hard time believing this. Well, you know what? Um, again, remember if, if for those of you who've been following, you know I'm in two pools. One's got a hundred people left or seventy three people left, and the other still has three hundred. So, in the DraftKings three hundred one, that probably be the one I would save Atlanta. You know, yeah, mm-hmm. um, yeah, because that one's more likely to to get to the end. Um, and I can then I can you know save a, save them for eighteen. I, think- I mean, what do you think? I, I, I mean, I guess one way you can do is just assume that the 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 distribution is correct, and I just take Green Bay. But I I think I don't like going against the numbers or the predictions. But when there's seventeen people left, and I've played this pool for twelve years, and I've I, I've won it three times, I, I have a pretty good feel for what these people are going to do. I think so many people are going to take Philadelphia. I think a lot of people are going to take the people that take Houston have Houston available to take Houston, that's only going to leave a few picks left. And, you know, I, 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 I think I'm just better off, you know, just not taking Baltimore because the people that think they're, you know, separating, will just take the next biggest favorite. Uh, and really this might be luck of the draw where one other person takes Atlanta or Green Bay. And I would just want to pick the one that they don't pick. Um, I just don't think it's going to matter. I, I, I just, with that few people left, I mean, you, you don't want to just completely, you know, just just pick one for, for picking one. But I, I really think it's very close. Yeah. Um, OK, so uh, just for the record, I think that uh, I will stand by my comments that uh, depending how big your pools are, uh, the, the, the large the longer your pool goes, the more likely I would say take Green Bay. Um, I have to say that. So they do have the higher EV on the board here. I, I guess Green. I I guess Green Bay is is the best is the better one. Uh, you know what it is. I, I it, it's it's 
Not by much. One team playing against a very bad team. Atlanta's yeah. playing against an atrocious team that just got slaughtered. And right. Arizona's got a couple, like, I mean, casual football fans have heard of Arizona's skill players I guess. and their quarterback. They, they have not heard of, of the Carolina one. So I think people are more inclined what, what, when, it, when, it's, when it's even to pick the team that has against the team that has the worst players. I'll tell you who's really bad, by the way, um, without Tua is Miami. Oh, my God. Is he supposed to be back this year? Uh, I mean, well, I say that I, only because Green Bay I, and thirteen could be like minus ten at the end. I don't know if I, I, I don't know if I voiced on this. But someone, you know, can comment. I, I, I feel like I said before on the first podcast, McCaffrey wouldn't play the whole year. I know I said that to some of my friends. Uh, I don't know if I said it uh, on on yeah. this podcast, but yeah. I, I feel like Tua has to be in that category. Uh, wh- wh- why would the team even want to bring him back if you know if they're completely out of it? Uh, yep. They did squeak through, but they they beat the worst team in the league. Um, that's yep. not their playoff, but they had their betting market has their playoff chances at forty percent. So, uh, if, if they lost last week, I would have to assume that it, you know it would have been a no because their their chances would be okay. less than half of what it is. Okay, how many people are left in your double in your pools in your in your double pick pool again? Seven hundred and two. Okay. And what do you I, got? I talked one, to, you got one. I have three. Right. And, and I, winner, winner doubles? Six, 12, and 13. So I, I'm playing for all of those. When I say playing for them, I'm mapping for all of those. Uh, two weeks ago, I was mapping for 16. Now I'm kind of like not ignoring it, but, you know, I'm, I'm really just looking at 12 and 13. Well, well, and, well if that's the case, then, I mean, if, for, if it were me, uh, I would probably – as, as tempting as it is to play doubles with Houston this week, if you have them available, I I probably would have to save them, you know? Um, oh, of co- oh, of course. Of course I have them available. I mean, I have the ugliest looking entry left that's reasonable. I well, mean, I didn't take right. any if, you, if you're, if you're yeah. live at this yeah. point, you would have saved Houston for six. You know what I mean? So at least have an option. Um, yeah. So- I mean, this entry, this entry's used nothing. I've used, t- and so I have three entries left. I've used Tampa Bay and all of them. Pittsburgh and all of them. There you go. Uh, Seattle and all of them. Chicago and all of them. And then two Jacksonville and one Denver. So th- this is a, an extremely – this is one of the strongest entries that you could be without having taken underdogs. And, again, I'm not I, – I, I have taken underdogs in this pool in week one before. Uh, but I decided, you know, not not to do well, that. Well, so I presume you have to play Green Bay. Um, oh, yeah. This pool. But what? Who's the Who's the dance partner? As my partner would say, like, who? Ooh, I like I, I like that. So, who would be the second one? So, I, I, I want to start with with your comments. So, I'm definitely not using Houston. H- Houston is a 100 uh, percent uh, save fade. They they are about half available. I think three three hundred and seventy nine of seven hundred two have them remaining. So, I'm using none of them. And and the reason for that is if you look at week twelve, our next doubles week. Yep, that's it. it. You know, Kansas City is the biggest favorite, and then, bam, there's Houston. And hopefully, you know, hopefully Tua doesn't play, and then yep. you can just you can just disregard Miami completely. And then look at the drop-off after yep. that. Yep. I mean, it's, it's absolutely – if I could freeze that and carry those spreads over. And, and you're dropping it off to teams with the exception of Seattle who you don't even want to use anyway, like Baltimore, San Francisco, Philly. Oh, know. yeah, correct. I mean, that, that is, it's a week where I would pair, like, Houston with, like, a pick em, you know, or, or – or I'm not, I mean, it sounds crazy, but I might pick them with an underdog. I might, I might pair them with the chargers because if, if somehow, you know, Baltimore is projected very highly for doubles that week, you know, you know why not just take the, you know, the two or three point underdog and, and just hope to win the whole thing. But I'm not definitely not using Houston. And the other, the other one, I mean, Baltimore. So the reason I don't want to use Houston is I obviously want to save them for doubles because I also I don't want to use Kansas City in twelve either. So I, I need I w- I'd like to have someone that's not just very str- a strong team uh, win percentage team, but I also want to be able to save Kansas City for week thirteen. That's also doubles because they're the biggest they're the second biggest favorite in thirteen. So doubles too, huh? So th- th- that so Houston is an absolutely mandatory play because. This this thing is you have to. I mean this 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 pool is going to twelve unless I get exactly what I want this week. 
and that's me winning my games, and then two, and then two of the other big teams losing, and then it could end. Be, and, then, and then it could easily end before it could end before twelve. Um, but that that's contingent on 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 me advancing with the teams that I'm going to play. You know, this week the uh, the other option. So Philadelphia. Okay, the, my other throwaway is Baltimore. I'm, I'm not using. I'm not using Baltimore in this, and the reason for that is you're going to shove them in nine and just be. You know, I, I'm I'm going to go all in on nine. It, it, it's an absolute no brainer because again, we're looking. I'm looking at nine, and you look at the other teams. Okay, well, Cincinnati is a team that everybody is going to pick that doesn't have Kansas City or Baltimore available. Now, again, Baltimore would be very chalky in, in Week Nine, but. At some point, you know, okay. either if you don't eat it, okay. then you might you might never be able to play the team, and, and you took maybe one chance too many. They're right. going to be they're going to be at least ten point favorites. Yeah. Um, and Cincinnati, if this thing again, this is doubles. If the thing goes to week fifteen, then I'm going to have ball. Then you know, having Cincinnati available in fifteen, sixteen, seventeen would be a really nice thing to have. Right. Um, again, I'm not playing for those weeks, but I would want to fade Cincinnati anyway, and then I'm never taking the Chiefs. So if I'm going to be fading Cincinnati and never taking in the Chiefs, and I would never take Buffalo in this week anyway, in Philadelphia, okay, they're a four-point favorite. You're not going to use them. You're, I've already used my Seattle, so now I'm, now I'm down. I'm forced onto the three-point favorites, or I could just take Baltimore as a 10-point favorite. Well, I'm – I'm not insane. I'm going to take the 10 point favorite. So I cannot take Baltimore this week. So Baltimore is, 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 a, is a save for me. Houston is a save fade. And that leaves, it leaves five teams because a bunch of them I've already used. Like I can't, I've already used Pittsburgh. Um, so I, there's five teams that I can pick from. I have Philadelphia, Atlanta, Green Bay, Cincinnati, and the Chargers. That's all I've got. It's got to um, be Green Bay again. No, I mean Atlanta again. No, I mean. Yeah, I, my my, my inclination, and, and again, I I just did this right before we started our call. I have notes of saving Cincinnati and the Chargers for the off chance that huh. I'd want to have them for the end of the season. I, I already went over this. Excuse me, the Cincinnati one, the Chargers. I, I mentioned that earlier. You know, if you get down to Week 15. You know, them and Cincinnati are just good teams to have for the closeout. I'm not playing for that, but, you know, I'm, I'd also be dropping from higher winning percentage teams to these teams that I really might want to have later. Yeah, everybody else has them too, but this is this has a lot of double picks week. It's not like there's going to be 100 people left. If, 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 we get to, if I get to that stage, there's like 20 people left, and, you know, maybe only a few people have them somehow. So I'm, I think – my inclination is I'm going to go Philly and Atlanta, Philly and Green Bay, Atlanta and Green Bay. Um, it, it, it feels safe, uh, but I'm also still fading. I think the two most imp- – fade saving the two most important teams that are most valuable to me, which are Baltimore and Houston. And luckily, if you click that win percentage column, the two biggest favorites after Philly are Baltimore and Houston. So people are, are picking based on that then at least I'm not picking two of those three teams. Are, are four Is 14 doubles? No. no. You have San Francisco available? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I'm just saying, like, if you, if, you, if, you, if you burn Philly, like, where are you? Um, but it's, it's, it's fine if it's only singles. You, you can come up with something. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. There's, no, there's zero chance I'll abuse San Francisco by then if, if I'm still in. I mean, I always throw that if in there because I'm, I'm playing aggressively here, but – well, you're not well, using. I mean, unless you use them in eleven. I mean, but you'll probably use Detroit in eleven, um, or Miami. Or wow, ah, Miami could be terrible. Maybe the Jets in eleven. Yeah, J- uh, Jets or Miami or Detroit. Detroit. I mean, three options, and then and there's Atlanta. Atlanta is at Denver. New Orleans is New, New Orleans. Ooh, who's going to who's going to even be favored there at the end of the day? Atlanta, uh, Denver. Though. We don't know. <laughs> that. that but, but what makes it yeah. – the reason I don't get concerned is yeah. I don't know which one I'm taking, but All we right. just came up with five names that yeah. I would – you know and I know that I'd be okay with. Yeah. And at the end of the day, there's no way I'm taking San Francisco there. There's no shot. 
Um, now, I might take them in my single picks pool because if we get down, there's five people and I'm the only one with them. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to take them because if everybody else is going to be on one, one or one or two teams, I'd, I'd like to be, you know, lone wolf on on San Francisco. Uh, but when we get there, I might think San Francisco is a horrible pick for 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 one of my pools, but the slam dunk pick in my other. So. Luckily, it kind of worked out pretty easily. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna have very similar interests for my pools this week. They don't conflict. I, I'm, I, I'm pretty confident I'm gonna be going Philly, Atlanta, Philly, Green Bay, and then Atlanta, Green Bay, and just hope, you know, two of those teams win, obviously, and then, uh, at least two. I, I hope all three, but you know, it, you know, if I, if I hit those three, and then one of the other teams lose, it'll be a great, it'll be an absolutely fantastic week. Um, and if one of them lose, but the other two lose, that would also be a fantastic week. And then I, my big decision is going to be between Atlanta and Green Bay. I, I, I think I'm going to go with Green Bay. I'm not really necessarily looking at the percentages, but, you know, I, I, I think if someone decides to, to drop a little bit, they're going to be in the fade Carolina group. Wait, wait what do you have? How many are left? 17, you said? 17. 17. And they're both of them are, did anybody take Atlanta last week or they're both fully available? So everybody has, everybody has Baltimore, Atlanta, Green Bay available. Only one person's used right. Philly, but he has Houston in both but, of them. So, but and, no, I'm just saying that Atlanta and Green Bay are both fully available. I don't think that. And, 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 oh, okay. So, and everybody's got Baltimore and Philly available, right? Yeah. hundred. Uh, well, one person's used Philly, but he has Houston. He's he has two of his two yeah. so six entries at Houston. He has two I, I of them. Think, I think that if you go really, I think if you go Green Bay, just to take the oh, I was boy oh boy Atlanta's got the better winning winning chances huh I was about to I thought Green Bay did for a minute um yeah I don't know I, maybe the random number generator idea works <laughs> it is hard because it, it, it could be one of those things where zero people take those teams and they, other than the per, other might. than whoever I take they might that's what I'm saying um. So if that's the case, if you knew, okay, I'll give you another way. If you knew that zero people were taking either of those teams, who would you play? I don't oh, know. I, oh, I would just. Oh, I, I would go. Oh, that's easy. I would just wh whoever's the highest winning percentage. Right. Okay. okay. Um. And, and uh, e uh, even if it was 0.1 percent more, that's just. And, and then I would, uh, if if they were, it was literally the same by the decimal. Then I would, uh, I'd flip a coin or I'd pick, uh, based on. Uh, human emotion on, on who would make me the least mad if I lost with them. Like uh, it sounds silly, but you got, you got to sleep at night. I'd like to think, and I hate to say this, everybody, I, I know we're trying to overanalyze this, but when you get down to these short pools, and that's why I spent like, I, 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 I want to say six hours, like, like just, just grinding that, that pool that was to 13 left to try to figure out who people are going to play because, because those decisions carry such leverage, you know, oh, like, yeah. if you're wrong by one pick. You know what I mean? Or two picks, you could, you know, it's it's like a huge EV swing. Um, so, I mean, if you think about it, if, if so let's say if you knew even one person was taking one of these two teams, I think that, I, I look at your point you made earlier, that that on the one hand, people, real, people know the Arizona skill players, and Arizona did just show they beat San Francisco, so maybe people might be afraid to take Green Bay. Yet on the other hand, I don't think that many people are believers in Atlanta at this point either. Um, and they are on the hashtag on the road, you know, uh, again, yeah, I'm, I, I, even I'm a sucker for the long extra break. I mean, they played on Thursday. That's even I'm a sucker. Even, even, I'm honest. I'm a sucker for that. I don't care if it's built in the spread. I, 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 I use that as a tiebreaker. If all yeah. things are equal, I, I'm going to, I'm going to take the team of three, three or four days extra rest. Yeah. Uh, I'm a okay. sucker for that too. Right. So, so, for those of you who have been watching, again, like hope you guys learn how to think about this stuff yourself. Uh, and good luck in your pools. And look, you know, I you know, just if you if you're still in anything, if you just want to sweat, just go on our Discord. I promise you that that one or both of us will be rooting for at least one of Atlanta or Green Bay, or maybe both. Um, and I will be rooting for well. I'd like to say that I'll be rooting for Philly for Brave Jayhawk, but the fact of the matter is I probably won't be. 
Um, yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I mean, and, and you can, I mean, and you would hardly blame me. Right? No, I mean, but I'm um, not rooting. I'm not. I'm picking them, but I'm not rooting for them either. I'm not going to in my in my more valuable pool. I'm not taking them. So I, I a hundred percent want Billy. But, 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 but those are the guys you guys want to root for, uh, in some degree, if you want to root for us, uh, and uh, that'll do it. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. Good luck. I feel good. Last week I was nervous. I feel good about this week. That's, see you next week. Oh, that's a big mistake. Okay. <laughs> Bye-bye. See you later. See you later, man. See ya.